Hello beautiful soul, this is Christy with Art of Awakening and this is just a very quick daily reading. I am uh, recording this on April 8th, 2019, but it'll be good for whatever day you happen to land here. And um, so the backdrop here, I uh, just created or I'm in the middle of creating another spirit animal um, meaning video. This is a hummingbird. And uh, I just did this little painting for that, so I thought I'd put that on a back, on a, as a backdrop. And I'm just laughing because this is like we're still in the shadow of Merc Mercury retrograde. I didn't have any technical problems throughout the the retrograde period itself, but as soon as we hit the shadow, it's been one technical issue after another. It's been crazy. So I actually just recorded this <laughs> and did the whole shuffle and pull and stuff on, on, on video, and then it just didn't turn out. So here I am again, but I'm, I'm going to kind of spare that. I'm going to use the same card that came up before, and that card was Wolf. And I found that interesting because I had really, really been debating, do I want to do a hummingbird or wolf, hummingbird or wolf? And I finally came down to hummingbird because quite frankly, I was really tired this weekend and um, something was telling me wolf, but I was like, you know what? I, I don't, I'm not up to wolf, I want to do hummingbird. So I did hummingbird and here's wolf staring at me in the face saying, hey, <laughs> it's my turn. So I think wolf will be next. Anyhow, so when I tuned into Wolf, what I saw was Wolf kind of sniffing and on the trail. And what was he was telling me was, you know, it's time to start sniffing out kind of what it is that you want. And so I got to thinking about, you know, or just what he was saying about what you want. It really came down to going for not just what you think you want or not just what you want on the surface, but your deep desires, the deep desires. And I have an example for that. Right now, I want a car. I'm between cars. I had to give up my uh, Chevy Volt. It was on a lease and I just, I didn't like the car enough to want to buy it. And then I was using my dad's car for a bit that, that didn't work out. So now I'm sort of like, um, I don't have a car right now. I live in town, so it's not a big deal, but I'm sort of at the beginning stages of shopping for a car. And so it's like thinking, well, you know, and it's so hard to shop for a car because there's so many variables. It's like, you know, how do you choose one? And what Wolf was just telling me was like, okay, well, what is it about the car? It's, do you really want a car? And honestly, I'd be more than happy not to have a car, but I've, I really want the car because the deeper reason I want to go get the car is that I need the car to get out into the woods. Right now my dog is older and I, I could probably get to the woods on a bicycle, but she just wouldn't run beside it anymore. She's getting pretty old. So it's, it's really, really my deep desire is to get out there and connect with Mother Earth, to connect with nature, and, and that's the biggest reason I need a car. And also once winter comes to do it in the winter too. And so he's saying, well, you know, everybody's got things that they want, but they're not always thinking it through to the deeper, deeper desires. I'm going to give you another example. This is one that we hear a lot in the media. Um, you know, we need jobs, we need jobs, we need jobs. Anytime there's anything that, you know, comes up in the, the economy, it's the jobs, jobs, jobs. And Wolf is like, do you really, you know, what is it that you need? Jobs? Do we need jobs? No, we don't need jobs. We need security, right? We need our basic needs met. That's why people want jobs. But seriously, like, I think most people, if you, um, you know, if you were given the choice, would you actually want the job and to be putting 40 hours a week or more, you know, into something that maybe isn't really feeding your soul? No. I mean, we, we obviously, we need our needs met and we want that. Um, and maybe a job's the best thing for it. And for most people, it is most of the time. It's, you know, you got to find employment so that you can feed yourself, but it's not the deep desire, right? It's not the deep desire. 
And so Wolf is asking us to look beyond the superficialities, look beyond the superficial, look beneath the surface and figure out what, what you really want, what's really driving you, and follow that, start following that. And um, I'm finding it, you know, it's, I, I was wondering, it's like, hummingbird, do, like I knew another card was going to come up. And here's the hummingbird connection. Hummingbird has a lot to do with joy, right? It embodies joy. It's a very, very high, bright, vibrational animal. And so I think what Wolf is really saying is, you know, follow. It's it's an old saying. It's a cliche. Follow your bliss. But it's so true. It's like allow yourself to start doing what brings you joy, what sparks joy in you, and allow yourself to do it. And, and, and without without, you know, he's just showing, sniffing on the trail. I mean, he's not, he's not like at the hummingbird, right? But he's sniffing at the trail. So it always starts, it's like, I think sometimes we get impatient. We want to have that hummingbird in our hands, <laughs> right? Or, or in the sights of our camera. But what Wolf was saying is like, it, it's got to start somewhere. And I think it starts by sniffing out what is it that brings you joy and then starting to just follow that little trail. Allow yourself to do what brings you joy. Um, I went swimming this morning. <laughs> I haven't swum in a long time, but it was a very joyful experience and I hadn't really allowed myself to do that. And uh, I think a lot of us have things that we're not letting us experience that joy. So go have a joyful day today. And... Um, before you do, click like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm uploading videos every day in April. And um, if you feel drawn to, there's information on how you can work with me below as well. So have a lovely, lovely day, and I will catch you again tomorrow.